uh, one thing that I can tell you about this organization, Community Healthcare Network, is that they really look out for their community. You know, mm -hmm. having events like this in which you bring awareness to the community, you bring your resources to the community, uh, resources that maybe a lot of us uh, do not know about, maybe resources that a lot of us are even scared uh, to look out for. We definitely need to commend them uh, in, in, in terms of that. Um, I can tell you that uh, Bronx Community Board, who is committed uh, to serve the community and assist in any way possible, especially when it comes uh, to combating uh, domestic violence. Uh, just very quickly, um, I've been district manager for about two months now, and when I first got the flyer uh, for this event, what we do normally is that we take flyers and we post them in the office so that everyone can come and they can take uh, these flyers. That day, I had, an, I, I had a visit. <clears throat> I had a visit from a family. It was a father, his wife, uh, his, uh, his son, his, his youngest son, and his, uh, his daughter who was in the teens. And they came because they were looking, they were looking for assistance. Uh, his daughter, who was about 23, 24 years old, uh, they were from, she was from Philadelphia, and she was going through a domestic violence issue in Philadelphia. Well, she came over over the weekend. It seems that they were gonna celebra celebrate uh, some type of birthday party. And um, the father was aware that his daughter was going through a domestic violence issue. However, she was scared to speak up. She was scared to say, hey, this is really happening. The family knew, but they, they were scared to speak up. They were scared to intervene. Well, it seems that that day in which they were having that, uh, that festivity, that party, it occurred to them. And the family was able to intervene and stop what was about to happen. You know, he was, the, 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 the husband was going to physically harm his wife. They were able to stop it. They were able to, uh, to call the police. Um, the, guy, the guy left. Um, he, he did not physically hit her, so at the moment they could not uh, do anything in terms of arresting him. But that was when the family was able to intervene and say enough is enough. So they came to the board office to look for assistance. Uh, the first thing that I did was I called my friend Artie Warwick, who is the, um, he's a detective at the 401 Precinct, and um, he was able to get me in contact with the uh, domestic uh, violence unit in which we were able to get in contact directly with that precinct in which, where that occurred, which was I believe was the 4-7 precinct. And we were able to get help, the help that she needed. Um, the father did call me back a week later. Arrangements were made so that they can go to her home in Philadelphia and get her belongings and bring her back here uh, to the city of New York and they were in contact, I believe, with Safe Horizon, in which they found a housing. Um, I haven't really followed up, but it was a very fulfilling moment for me to know that we were able to help that one individual. Um, I can tell you that uh, here in Community Healthcare Network, we, they see a lot, I say we because I, I still feel like I'm part of the cause. <laughs> they, um, they, they see a lot of cases, different cases within the community, whether it's youth, whether it's, it's um, the seniors, or anyone at, at a regular age. You know, a lot of issues that I see, it may not be that they're physically harming each other, but there's some type of emotional abuse, and also there's some type of financial abuse, in which the male is working and the female's not working and she's dependent on the male, and he controls the finances, and he controls her life, or it could be the opposite way around, you know, in which the, the female is working. So I definitely commend Community Healthcare Network and, and, and all the key players on, on bringing this issue to light. I, um, I definitely want to commend the, um, our, our elected officials, uh, our Assemblyman Crespo. Yeah, he, he does notice how important this issue is to us and for him to personally take time out of his schedule to come here and to speak and bring awareness, I thank you. I thank you, Assemblyman. And um, I thank the Borough President's Office and uh, I really want to thank all the experts, especially our commissioner, Yolanda Jimenez. Uh, I didn't meet her last year. She came to my event and had a domestic violence event at CAS, and we became some of friends, and I really want to thank her. I know she couldn't be here today, but she did send a right-hand person, and she did send a representative, so I want to thank you guys for that. Thank you.